welcome back to Scene South TV. Now, I've been having a chat with our audience here about Christmas blunders, things that have gone wrong in the kitchen over Christmas. Now, I'm here with Ed. Hi. Hello, how are you doing, you right? I'm good, thank you. Now, tell us again, what happened to you last Christmas? Yeah, I had a bit of a nightmare. We, uh, we went to church just for, like, the nativity as a family, and when we came back, we'd left the turkey on the sides and the dog had eaten it all. So no. we, had to, we had to go out for a takeaway. So you didn't have any Christmas dinner? No Christmas dinner, but we get um, no sprouts, so... Okay. Every cloud. And the dog had a good dinner. Yeah, at least. dog had a great dinner, yeah. <laughs> well, to make sure there are no mishaps in your kitchen this Christmas, up next we have the first of our new kick cooking series teaching you alternative international dishes. To hold off the turkey, let's see if our speciality chef can get your taste buds tingling. Welcome to the Christmas Kitchen Corner with me, Antonio. I'm joined by the Vestry Head Chef, Bob. Bob, thanks a lot for coming Thank to much. us today. So tell me, what are you cooking for us? Today we're doing uh, duck breast, uh, served with a creamed sprout, uh, smoked bacon and chestnut, um, served with an, an orange reduction sauce. Fantastic, sounds beautiful. So is this one of the, the main dishes at the vestry then? This is one of my creations, yep, um, as are all the dishes at the vestry. Okay, so fantastic. First of all, nice hot pan for the duck. So when we were working with duck breast, it's important to score the fat to allow the oils to be released when we start cooking and salt and pepper is most important. No oil in the pan, this duck's going to start cooking down and releasing its own cooking juices Okay. and that's all the flavour we need. So in the meantime, I'm just going to drop up sauce. my sauce. This is one of the easiest and most effective sauces you can make. Just an orange, I'm just going to squeeze that all in there. Okay, just going to transfer that onto my oven tray now. Mm -hmm. And we're going to add our bacon. So we'll just take some of our sprouts. And we're just going to slice through these sprouts. And some of these lovely chestnuts. I mean, that's what I mean. Sprouts is not the uh, most popular choice to people. But you would say it's going to take all parts of this dish? This one. You will never see sprouts the same. <laughs> okay, so we've got no nice crispy bacon in there now. Into there, we're going to add our chopped sprouts. Whack that all in. And our chestnuts. A little bit of salt and pepper. Just taking that orange juice, we're just going to reduce it right down. Okay. Until it's nearly disappeared. And into that, we shall have some butter. Put that aside, that's ready. Fantastic. You can just see a little bit of colour coming now on the sprouts and the chestnuts. And then we're going to add just a little bit of white wine, mm -hmm. about 100ml. Cook that until the white wine's completely gone and been absorbed. And so there, we're going to add double the amount of cream, so 200 wow. ml of cream. Okay, so duck's done. Oh, duck's all ready. Okay, you can see how it's just bouncing back. Yeah. See all those juices coming out. Very moist as well. And all we're going to do is just give a couple of slices and then we're going to let it have a rest while we plate up the rest around the side. I'm just going to drizzle color, that. And then just to finish it off, a bit of red currant and a little bit of rosemary. Absolutely and beautiful. there you go. This is the money shot. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> that is absolutely gorgeous. I love the chestnut. Actually, you know what? You've convinced me with the Brussels sprouts. While me and Bob tuck into this, if you want an alternative Christmas dinner, and try Bob's duck with cream sprouts and smoked bacon. There we go. Chestnuts. Merry Christmas. Mm, that looked yummy. Absolutely amazing. I reckon I'd be pretty good at that, giving that a crack in the kitchen. Mm. What do you think? Maybe stick to what you do best, John. Beans on toast. Oh, it's a classic, isn't it? You know what I mean? I'm pretty good at it as well. Uh, if you fancy having your dinner cooked by a real chef and not me, then we've got a great competition for you. We're giving away a lovely meal for two at Cantina, and all you've got to do is answer this question. How many reindeers does Santa Claus have? Is it seven, nine, or 12? Mm, tough one, tough one. <laughs> Email your answers, of course, to scenesouth2012-13 at hotmail.co.uk if you want the chance to dine at Southampton's best Mexican restaurant. Terms and conditions, of course, can be found on the Daily Echo's website. So if you fancy treating your partner to an evening of whining and dining during the run-up to Christmas, make sure you enter for a chance to win. You have to be in it to win it, John. You do, you do. Hey, Alina. Mm-hmm. Why did the Mexican throw the woman off the cliff? I don't know. Why? Tequila! <laughs> no. 
Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, see, I am funny. I am funny. Funnier than I think I am. Uh, well, on that note, we're going to hand over to our little special guests, as we promised you earlier in the show, St. Mary's Church of England Primary oh. School Choir, who are going to sing for us a song from their play, It's a Party. Amazing stuff, very impressed. Lots of rehearsal. Was there? Yeah. Yes. Sounded like there was. What was your name? Marcel. Marcel. Have hey you been Marcel. good this Christmas, Marcel? Yeah. Yeah? Are, what you, do you, are you looking forward to it? Are you looking forward to Christmas? Yeah. yeah. What do you want from Santa? Um. Anything yeah. in the world. Yeah. Anything <laughs> in the world, anything, that's what you'd like. In the world, Not a lot, Mum and Dad. <laughs> and you, little one, what's your name? I'm Jesse Dake. Hi, Jesse. Have <laughs> you been naughty or nice this year? Nice. Nice. I'm oh. sure you have. I'm sure you have. And what do you want from Santa this um, year? An Xbox. An Xbox. Xbox. Not asking for much either. <laughs> really. Well, guess what, kids? We've got a big surprise for you. Mm -hmm. A very special guest. It's, it's Santa. Santa! <laughs> Woo! Oh. Yes. Hello. Oh, kids. you sang wonderfully. <laughs> yeah. Some gifts oh, for you kids. How exciting. I wish Santa would come early for me. Yeah. <laughs> You're all going to get one. Yeah. Oh. Wonderful. Oh. Honey. There you go, candy kids. Candy canes. I love candy canes. Oh. Quite an addict. You're welcome. Oh. Candy canes and mince pies. Thank you, Santa. <laughs> oh. Those elves well. <laughs> can't wrap them up properly. <laughs> well yeah, done, yeah. Santa. He's doing a wonderful job there. <laughs> So join us in part three, where John and Santa go head to head, and we're played out by our new house band. Don't go away. 